So today we went to Isla Mujeres, the island right off Cancun. It's day seven, September 13th, 2020. Uh, we took the Ultramar Ferry, which is about 20 minutes to get across the island, $13 per person. I think there used to be an older ferry, but I think only Ultramar is right now uh, ferrying passengers during COVID. Uh, you need masks on to enter the port and get on the boat, but once you're, you're there, you can take your masks off. Uh, had a very enjoyable ride, so blue the water, it was really nice. There's a guy singing to us at the end, just collecting tips at the very end. Uh, very, very nice, very gentle. And here's the port once we arrived in Islu Mahares. Oh man, such a such a nice place. Uh, lots of, lot, the very active town, you know, store vendors everywhere, restaurants everywhere. Uh, and much, a much more gentle spirit here, I feel like, much more laid back, which we appreciated. Here's our hotel entrance. Uh, here's where we got our lunch pizza. It was so good from an actual Italian who moved into Mexico. Really good pizza, actually. Some of the best pizza I've ever had. Uh, and then here's Playa Norte. Uh, one of the most famous islands or beaches in Mexico. I think it's known to be the most beautiful uh, Mexican beach. Unfortunately, it was kind of overpopulated when we went, lots of boats and stuff. We went later and it was much nicer, but we went to this other beach uh, at the time and it was much, uh, much more gentle. It had some more snorkeling opportunities. It had some waves if you go further out. Uh, I definitely recommend this for families. It's called Hermosa Calieta. Uh, very nice place. Uh, we went swimming there many times. So that was definitely cool. And Valen actually got to go snorkeling with just his goggles on. And he was like showing me all these fish he was finding. It was really cool to see. Especially because, um, I don't know. It, I don't know, it was a cool adventure. And it was cool to see that adventurous spirit coming out in Valen. And he just kept going, let's go to the reef, let's go to the reef. And let's look at those fish. So that was cool for me to experience with him going on our own little adventure. And Kaylee loved the water too. Kaylee's really been loving the water. Uh, just, maybe just because it's so hot, so it cools her off. Uh, here's Al Natural. Uh, this place is really good, right outside our hotel. Got some dollar, uh, even less than dollar tacos. They were like 15 pesos each, which is really cheap. Here's a shop we went to, many shops around. They're all kind of selling around the same stuff. And you gotta get have your uh, bargaining hat on. Okay, and then we did round two of tacos. We went to this other place. Uh, also really good tacos. Um, but yeah, actually, one of the tacos we got was like super greasy. I forget what it was called. But actually, Sunmary and my dad ended up getting some kind of like food poisoning, or I don't know, they were throwing up. They had some diarrhea going on too. It, that was the place. <laughs> anyway, really good tacos. Just stay away from the the greasy ones. I think the Mexican sausage chorizo ones. Uh, they were the only ones that ate it. They were the only ones that got sick. They were also the only full white people, so it might just be a, a white man thing. So I had to end up going to this pharmacy late at night. And uh, yeah, I had to go to like all these 24 seven places that weren't actually open and the pharmacies were open. You just kind of had to knock and they, get, they gave us Tums. Somebody couldn't take Pepto-Bismol because she's breastfeeding. But yeah, that was a interesting adventure. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Keep watching. See you later.